Welcome back to Term 2. I hope that all students and families had a relaxing holiday period. The weather over the Easter break was beautiful and I hope that many people got their final hit of sunshine. We were all greeted with beautiful weather on our return to school last week. Student greetings always puts a smile on my face on day one of each term. It is like long lost friends who have not seen each other for 10 years reuniting. The value and connection student display reinforces the importance of peers in our lives and that face-to-face -face connection that had been so sorely missed. It is heartening to see that past and new relationships are flourishing again. Thank you to all parents for supporting the college in uniform expectations. It seems to be so long that we saw our students in their winter uniforms and they do look amazing. I've been informed by PSW that their stocks are full and for the parents and students looking to purchase new uniforms. If your child is awaiting any uniform items, please let us know at the college. On a very cold Anzac dawn service at the Lorimer Cenotaph, the voices of Hazel Glen warmed the hearts of all in attendance in song. Their voices supported the service, paying our respects to our community. Thank you to Damian Marshall and Dylan King for their work in supporting our students proudly. Thank you to our junior, middle and college captains for laying the wreath in representation of our college. On Wednesday morning, the first day back at school, um, as a college, we paid our respects to our Anzacs. We pre-recorded a video with Wes Ridgway, president of the Dorian RSL, presenting the Anzac uh, tribute keynote speech, supported by our college captains, junior and middle captains, and the college choir, to ensure that we never forget the sacrifices by so many to have the freedom we have today. Thank you to all students involved in creating this video and my sincere thanks to Wes for his keynote presentation. On Tuesday morning, we met Sunny, the new college therapy dog who will be joining us this term to help support students one day a week in the middle school. A big thank you to Miss Young for her training of Sunny and sharing him with us. I'll have more specific correspondence about Sunny and how he will be interacting with our students out shortly. Over the coming weeks, we are excited to present to our prospective prep and Year 7 parents for 2023. The information sessions will be ran in the Performing Arts Centre, where we will showcase many of the amazing elements of our college from both staff and students. Due to space, all tickets need to be pre-booked for attendance. I look forward to seeing many people in attendance. We are holding a Mother's Day breakfast this Wednesday morning from 7am. Yes, we all know it is the most important day of the year. Where would we be without them? So dads, please set your alarms early for your children to bring mum down for breakfast and please give them a few dollars. All mothers in attendance will receive a free ham and cheese croissant. Coffees can be purchased at normal costs and any additional food for students can be purchased over the counter. Hoping to see many students and mums in attendance. While I'm on it, dads, I respectfully remind you all to ensure your children have a pocket full of coins for tomorrow, the 3rd of May, to ensure they can buy mum that special gift for Mother's Day from the Mother's Day stall at the college. If our swimming carnival was any indicator for the house carnival events this year, we are very excited about the athletics carnival coming up in a few weeks' time to be held uh, on the third, uh, Thursday, the 12th of May. Again, this provides an opportunity for our Year 12s to lead the way in their dress-up costumes in celebrating their final year of study. Our PE department are again planning and preparing for a day of fun and participation from all students, where they add points to their house, contributing to the overall house trophy to be decided by the end of the year. As an additional step this year in student safety, I have installed on all middle and senior school toilet doors student ID access. We have faced some additional challenges with community using student toilets without permission. All students will be required to use their ID card to access their allocated toilet block as of Monday the 9th of May. Students that forget their cards will be able to collect an access card from their area admin for access. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact one of your area principals. COVID restrictions are reducing, which is great news. Students are still required to complete a rat test twice a week for the first four weeks, which the college will provide to you. Only students that test positive need to isolate for seven days. Students that have a positive case in their households are classified as a close contact and are required to wear a mask at school during the isolation period. Students can also choose to wear a mask at school if, if that is their preference. 
I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all staff for their professionalism and planning in making the commencement of Term 2 smooth and seamless for all students. I wish all students a successful term ahead. Thank you.